Hey guys, Jimmy here. Um, just wanted to give an update. Today is opening day on Saturday and uh, we kind of had a big week. Um, we actually got back five responses, uh, one on Monday, three yesterday and one today. So very, very exciting. Um, so let's let's see who, who we got back and uh, take a look. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the cards that I got back. Um, and then uh, three guys actually responded with answers to my questionnaires, so that's pretty cool. So let's take a look. So the first guy, Pete Banizak, uh, responded on Monday. This one's pretty cool. You wrote best wishes there um, and signed both of my cards. Um, Billy Sims also wrote back um, yesterday, so pretty cool there and pretty neat card, the Super Action Tops card. Um, and then yesterday I also got back Ken Anderson, a long time Bengal. Um, and then yesterday I got back Richie Adubato, um, NBA head coach. And then today I got back, uh, Don Paul. So those are the cards I got back. Pretty nice, pretty, pretty amazing autographs there. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what I got back. And then, um, Pete Banizak, Richie Adubato, and Don Paul all filled out their questionnaire with some really, really great responses. So we'll take a look at those here in a sec. Let me just put those off to the side. So we'll take a look at Don, Don Paul's first. Um, so I asked him, what do you enjoy most about playing in the MLB or what is your favorite memory? He wrote, the thrill of competing versus the best. I tried to appreciate every day because it was amazing I got there. Favorite memory was being on the field for the last game at Old Comiskey. I grew up in Chicago and went to watch games at Old Comiskey. Old Comiskey. So very, very cool. Um, pretty neat that he was on the field for the last game. You know, I bet that was pretty sentimental for him. So pretty cool there. Uh, my next question was, who was your favorite at, or who was your athletic inspiration growing up and why? And he wrote Fergie Jenkins and a great pitcher. Um, Fergie was part of the Cubs, so he was probably a Cubs fan. Um, and yeah, and Fergie's in the Hall of Fame, so good pick there. Um, my next question was, your nickname was the Pope. How did you get this nickname? And he wrote, our announcer started it. The Pope at the time was Pope John Paul. They said my name sounded like that. Kind of funny, Pope Don Paul. <laughs> um, so kind of a neat response. Um, who was your favorite teammate and coach and why? And he wrote, Bobby Thigpen was in the bullpen with me for five years. Um, I was his favorite teammate. And then his coach was, I love Jeff Torborg as our manager. He was a father-like figure as a coach. So pretty cool. And then I asked him, what, who was the toughest guy you faced and why? And he wrote, George Brett. Um, he would stay with all the pitches. So pretty cool there. Um, Don, if you're watching, thank you for the response. It was very kind that you uh, filled out the questionnaire. So pretty exciting. The next guy that we'll go over is Richie Adubato. And um, for my first question, I asked him, what did you enjoy most about coaching the NBA or what is your favorite memory? And he wrote, I loved coaching the talented players like Shaq, Penny, Bernard King, Patrick Ewing. They had great attitudes and were very coachable. So pretty cool there and some pretty big names. Um, my next question was, what is something that you liked better about coaching the WNBA as opposed to the NBA? And let me remind you, he he um, coached in the WNBA and had a lot more success in the WNBA than the NBA. He wrote, the woman finally got a chance to play professional basketball and they were a joy to coach because of their desire to win in a professional league. So pretty cool there. Um, my next question, who is the best player you ever coached and what made them so great? He wrote Shaq because of his incredible talent and his great physical presence. He was a pleasure to coach because of his great attitude plus sense of humor. And that, that lines up pretty good. We've seen Shaq on TV a ton and he is he is he seems like a pretty funny guy. So that's a pretty sweet answer. And then I asked him, um, you served as a scout for the Atlanta Hawks. What is the biggest thing you look for when scouting young talent. And he wrote physical presence, size and strength, ball handling skills, plus the ability to pass and shoot with accuracy and coachability. So very, very cool answers there from Richie. Um, I like it. 
and it was a very well filled out questionnaire. He also um, gave me a little note here in the back um, that his book is on Amazon, Amazon Prime, so you can go buy his book. So I might have to buy that. And then last but not least, uh, Pete Banizek wrote back and um, filled out this questionnaire. He's got a beautiful autograph. So my first question was, what did you enjoy most about playing the NFL or what is your favorite memory? He wrote, when I was in high school, I was a Green Bay Packer fan. I played football, eight-man football in high school, only 14 in my class. He went to Miami University in Florida, got a scholarship, and I and played four years in college. Um, I couldn't really figure out what that said. I think it said four years, but he only played three years in college for the Hurricanes, so not too sure. Um, pretty cool answer. Uh, my next question was, who was your athletic inspiration growing up and why? And he wrote, Jim Taylor of the Green Bay Packers. My father took me to Packers games when I was growing up. So pretty cool um, there. Next question was, you took part in the infamous Holy Roller play where you guys got a game-winning touchdown that ultimately led to a rule change. In your own words, please describe that play and your role in it. Um, he wrote, it was fumbled purposely according to the rules and the referees were talked into it by the players and John Madden. So kind of a neat tidbit there, a little behind the scenes look at it. Um, I think initially after, after the play happened, um, they didn't admit that it was purposely fumbled and fumbled forward. Um, so kind of, kind of cool there. Um, next question was, who was your favorite teammate and coach and why? And he wrote John Madden as a coach, and then Fred Valetnikov and Ken Stabler were his roommates. So those were his favorite teammates. And then my last question was, you scored two touchdowns in Super Bowl XI to help secure a championship for the Oakland Raiders. Can you describe each play? What stands out from that game? And his response were, they, they were both short yardage plays designed to get four to six yards. Plays were called short yardage plays that one used near the goal line, and both worked. So kind of fun. Um, very fun. Um, so kind of, kind of some cool responses and a very good week. Um, so looking to continue this momentum, I think, uh, questionnaires and responses and cars are going to start coming back and start rolling in here pretty, pretty often. So, um, looking forward to it. Very, very exciting week with those three very well filled out questionnaires and yeah, so great week and looking to have another good week next week. So. Thanks.